Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5 Vanda Presets. Today we're in Diva and let's make something with the MS-20. So let's go to our presets here and our templates and go to MS Rev 1 and let's start the countdown. So let's turn on our ARP here, 1 over 16, maybe two octaves. And then for our oscillators, let's bring in two as well. Put this one as a square wave, which it kind of already is, and drop this down an octave here. See how that sounds. Oh, already good. Jeez, that filter sweep is just nasty. Okay, let's get some modulation on that. Let's turn our envelope two to the right a little bit. Maybe some keyboard tracking. And let's use this cut up here to get a little bit of extra tone here. Okay, so we have our bass sound here, so let's add some cool effects here and really spice this bad boy up. Let's turn on some chorus. Maybe some delay as well. Okay, for our center volume, let's bring this up maybe, I guess, kind of loud, 13.5. Okay. And what's cool, sometimes this FM OSC 1 can give you a really cool tonality as well. It's a little nice and grit there. Ooh, both of these revisions are really cool too, though. Ooh, let's go to octaves three and change serial to round. See what happens here. LFO, let's modulate this a little bit here. Let's change it from one second, maybe to one over four. Just so we also have a little bit of LFO kind of rhythmically moving as well as the envelope here that kind of drives the cutoff with this envelope here. Okay, so now let's add some external reverb because that always really ties this in here. So Diva here and let's turn on our external reverb and see how that sounds. Oh, I need a little bit more delays in this. Maybe just a little bit louder here. Maybe the side volume up a little bit more. Maybe both. Oh 
man, the MS-20 is just freaking awesome. Okay, so that is time, so let's see, what are we gonna call this thing? MS-20 love because I love the MS-20, so yeah, here we go. God, that one's fun to play. So if you want to get the MS-20 love... Ah. Click the link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and a little tip if you didn't know this, but you can get some really interesting distortion if you actually turn your oscillators down into the filter and turn your output up a little bit more. So something for you to experiment with. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video.